Um, if you want to have a bet at a price, and the seven there, Felix, the scat, Kyle Wilson Taylor taking the ride. Of course, he won his first Group One during this carnival last year, winning the Tats Tiara. Looking for his second. It is a great addition of the Queensland Derby, an absolute classic for the three year olds, and their last real opportunity to win a classic in this current racing season. It's contested over the 2,400 metres. Here's the call with David Fowler. One or two others. Number 18, Autumn Angel, is the Derby favourite on tap fixed at $2.30. Windpool now going past a million. Another Whirlpool event. Warmonger comes up. Completes the line. Now the 18 three-year-olds are set and ready to go. Red light on. A well-behaved line. Favourite runs from the rails. Autumn Angel. They're racing in the derby. Autumn Angel began quite well. Tannhauser began a little better with Shy Guy. Kira Can and Gold Bullion going forward. Gold Bullion written positively early. Navy King also swimming up. Wider bullets high. Anderson Bridge trying to take a prominent position. And first innings is right up there early. Then Felix the Scat. Ajita, Warrior the Warrior and Purveyor. As they go by the winning post the first time. Warmonger's out four wide. They're followed by at the head of the others was Ajita. Son of Deck getting well back with Moonlight Magic out towards the tail with Saban, and Encoder is last of the 18. They sweep out of the straight, 1,800 left to run. Navy King takes it up, Gold Bullion trailing in second. Third the outside was Bullets High, Anderson Bridge in fourth, who got over onto the rail to get a good run. Now, Warmonger may still be three deep. Kerrigan just pokes up at the mile. About two and a half away to the second favourite, Tannhauser, who races inside of first innings. Two to Warner Angel, right on the back of Tannhauser, following it everywhere it will go, I would imagine. Then came Felix the Scat, three wide around Warrior the Warrior. Ajita parked inside of that pair. Son of Deck, three wide with cover, then Purveyor, Saban, Moonlight Magic and Encoder. They head along the Eagle Farm back straighter, and Navy King has taken off. He's raced away, out by eight lengths in the middle part of the derby. Gold Bullion in second, racing in third, was Bullets High Anderson Bridge in fourth. They're followed by Warmonger. He's had a three wide trip as Navy King went further out of the thousand and set up a lead of 10. Kira Cad in sixth position, then first innings, followed by Tannhauser, Shy Guy. Off the track, Felix the Scatter, then came Autumn Angel. Warrior the Warrior, son of Deck Ajita, starting around Moonlight Man. Magic. Well back coming down the side, Purveyor. Then came at the head of the other, Saban. And Encoda is last of all. It's a case of catch me if you can. And Navy King is a loose leader. As they go to the 600 metres, still out by eight. Warmonger has now gone to second. Racing third, first inning. Starting to work into the picture. Felix the Scat looming to fourth. Where are these big guns? Autumn Angels back worse in midfield under some pressure. And Tannhauser is just ahead of it. They fan for home in the derby. Navy King quickly headed off by Warmonger, who drove to a clear lead. Felix the Scat starts to try and chip into the margin. Then first innings. Autumn Angel can't win. Nor can Tannhauser. Moonlight Magic from the back. But look at Warmonger. Look at Warmonger. He's out by a country mile. And is going to win the derby in a romp. The further he goes, the further he goes ahead. And Warmonger annihilated them. Won by ten lengths. Goodness gracious. Vito Moonlight Magic. Felix the Scat and Saban. Then came a Jeter. Followed by first innings in Coda, Warrior the Warrior, Autumn Angel, never a chance. Then Navy King, Tannhauser, Bullet High, Gapster Purveyor, Shy Guy, Son of Deck, Anderson Bridge, they're still coming, Kirikan and Gold Bullion last of all. And that would be the biggest winning margin of the derby you'll have seen in some time. Couldn't agree with you more there, David Fowler. That was an epic performance by Warmanger. Had the uh, fitness on the board coming out of the South Australian Derby, Lizzie, but 10 lengths after we saw Navy King lead them up a merry dance. He's put a space on a quality field. Hasn't he, Jess? Wow, that was an unbelievable performance. As David Fowler said, a big winning margin. We were looking at, it was quite daring tactics from Navy King. We saw him up on speed, really running them a merry dance, but it was a horse that had the most staying prowess and he traveled sweetly through the field. It's interesting to see where Blake came to. He came really wide and then he ended up coming into that middle crown part of the track and that's where he was finding the line strongly. We heard from Mick Kent earlier on and he said, I think that this guy can jump back into the winner's circle. He can definitely jump back into form. Really, it was a, a one-act affair and 
Moonlight Magic, Felix Siskat, they all ran well, but it was in vain. Settling a little closer was definitely the making of him today and not having to rattle home from the back.